Yeah. So, uh, made the video about the solutions. Then I made the video about the redundant solutions to show that black people only like talking about the same things over and over and over again. I did this to show that when you talk about the problems, it's easy to do. And black people love to talk about the problems because you don't have to solve the problems. All you have to do is discuss what's been being discussed over the last hundred or so years. But when you talk about the solutions, you see how angry people become. <laughs> they don't get mad when you talk about the problem. They get mad when you talk about the solution. Why? Because when you outline the solution, then you have to shut up. You have to start doing the solution. And that's the biggest problem is the doing. They don't want to do because it's hard to get up and get to it. But it's easy to talk. That's why they just prefer to keep talking to try and get YouTube hits and to try and get AdSense money. That's what it's all about. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a damn shame, but see, this is why I like to try and cut through the BS because this is what people want to do. They want to find excuses to keep talking. That's why uh, you listen to these videos and the ones who make it on TV, all they ever say is what? Let's have the conversation. What do we need to have a conversation for? We already know what the problem is. Now we have to work towards a solution. One of the people who was a nut and a maniac, and you could tell because they always come back and contradict what they say, and they never get to moving. That, that's the clear signs of a maniac. Uh, they say, let's go take a state and take it over. And change the laws. See, for a bunch of uh, mental patients, that sounds exciting. But even the mentally ill get a dose of reality because none of them are packing their bags. In fact, the architect of the plan, when asked directly, and you can see the comments, and I'm sure he probably delete them, he when asked directly, why are you not going to Mississippi? He said, I'm not going. <laughs> and I don't have to go. I'm like, if you're not going and you don't have to go, then what are you trying to do when you tell other people to go? You're trying to get them to go first, just like I was saying before. See, these people are full of shit. They're a waste of our time. But if YouTube hits is what you want, you know, you're going to have a hard time getting them. See, the thing is, you're going to lose whatever uh, gains that you get because you will eventually people eventually realize these are nuts that just keep stepping over their, their own ideas and going around in a circle with no intention of doing anything. All they do is talk. And that's what what it is with these other groups. Yeah, believe it or not, I'm talking about a whole lot of other people besides you. I mean, uh, when I talk about people going to Africa, again, these groups, starting from your man Marcus Garvey, these people didn't go. I mean, again, like I always say, you people are trying to convince other people to move, but you're not moving. You don't want to go yourself, but yet you say other people love the white man and love to live around the white man. But yet, <clears throat> you're staying. You love the white man's job. Uh, I mean, again, this is not just for one person. This, this is for people with these so-called ideas, these so-called solutions. But yet, they're not doing anything to make these things happen. Why make suggestions if you are not leading the way? If you are supposed to be the general, the field general... 
lead us into battle. I mean, what general says, hey, guys, uh, we need you to invade this country. And uh, I'll be calling you on the phone. I'm staying away because I don't want to get killed. I mean, come on. Who, who the hell is going to follow people who are not going to lead the way? Who's going to keep listening to people discussing the same old thing? The same old problems. And then when you ask them what the solution is, it's the redundant solutions. The solutions that they design to give people an answer, long drawn out. But they don't do anything. They don't attempt to do anything. Because that's not their intention. Now these people come from the nation of Islam and that's what the nation of Islam was all about. They don't plan on doing anything. They just sound mean and want to collect the money and give people hope. It's the same thing as the church. You know, that's what it's all about. And people claim I hate on people. Uh, but all I do is point out the BS that comes out. So you can leave all of that behind and start getting into something that actually does something. That's why these nuts, these are the people who I don't want to deal with. Because these are the people who waste your time. These are the people who want to uh, do YouTube roasts, look at, look for hits. I mean, they got, you know, I don't like talking about subscribers and all that, but, you know, they got a minuscule number of subscribers. They, they're looking for any hook to get some kind of fame. But see, once people hear what they have to say, then people are turned away because they realize these are a bunch of bumbling idiots. And the ones that sound intelligent, and act like they got it together. They're talking the same thing. They're talking about going to Africa. But again. They're not going. You ask them. When are you packing your bags? They will flat out say. I never said I'm going. But why are you telling people. We need to go to Africa. And set up this and set up that. If you don't plan on going. We need to get away from the white man. Okay, then why are you saying all these things? What is your end point? What is your goal? Is your goal to try to get others to go? Just like Marcus Garvey uh, uh, tried to get black Americans to go. But he kept importing his own people. He could have just stayed in Jamaica and told his own people, go to Africa. Don't go to the United States. Don't go to Canada. Don't, don't go to the UK. But again, during Marcus Garvey's time, Africa had direct colonial rulers so he had no intentions on going to Africa and it, even if he had gone it would have been the same situation or even worse like going to the, Uni the United States or Canada he would have been under white man control he was anyways so this is why I call these groups out these hustlers out because when you ask the right questions You'll get answers. You get people who are uncomfortable with the answer. You get people who uh, are full of shit. And you realize, damn it, they're not really trying to do anything at all. Then they critique your solution. <laughs> which is solutions that are simple, to the point, and will be productive in the long run. See, this is why, again... If you're looking for somebody to lead you in the battle, are you going to follow the private who just came into the military and he's like, you know what? I just went through basic training. I get it now. I get it. Okay, don't listen to this general. He thinks too much. He uh, is too intelligent. Even though he has all the experience and, and everything, don't listen to him. Listen to me. Nah, nobody's going to listen to a private because you're new. <clears throat> Even if the general sounds soft, the general has been in the game for a while and has all the experience and all the knowledge and the ins and outs. Nobody's going to listen to a private. See, these guys are privates. Then you got other people who are sergeants, more intelligent, more experienced. But at the same time, they still don't know what they're doing because they still haven't been able to 
thinking out because they don't have the same experience as the general. See? The calmer people are. If you notice, politicians, uh, the CEOs, all the people at the top, you notice how calm they are when they speak because they know what they're talking about. They've analyzed the facts. They have the experience. The lower down the level you, you, you go, people get into silliness. They get into foolishness. And you can hear it in their uh, speech that they don't know what they're talking about. You can hear how they mispronounce words, simple words. And you can see how they intentionally mislead people just for sensationalism. For example, when a knucklehead was going down my list of videos, he kept saying, oh, Alquan doesn't uh, talk about white people. It's all talking about black people. And he was going down the list and, and looking at the titles. He's like, he's even talking about the Talk Real Solutions. You see, that I, I, when he was doing that, I could tell that he never saw those videos. He was just going by the titles. <clears throat> and if you haven't noticed, I give titles that are kind of provocative. And even though you can't really get that provocative on YouTube anymore with the titles. Uh, but once you listen to the video, it's going to be something a little bit different from what you thought it was going to be. So that's how I know they haven't watched the, the videos. And I notice how they say he never talks about white people. That's not my goal. That's not my mission. Because all of these groups and would-be groups... Even the Tariq Nasheeds of the world. See, they defend him. They defend all the people with the big hits. That's who they want to get down with. You know, that's why they keep trying to get down with these people. It's about fame and celebrity for these people, not the actual results. The ones with the fame and celebrity are not interested in results. I'm interested in results. That's why I like to cut through the BS. But that's all they talked about. They defended the big people. And they say, all he does is talk about people. Well, listen to the video. Hear what I'm talking about. Then you understand what I'm saying. But instead, you think you're going to uh, get some brownie points by trying to defend them. Coons and, and silliness, that, those are the kind of people I'm not down with. So you people are eliminated and dismissed. And um, again, this individual skipped over. The videos I made about white people. David Duke, he saw that as I was looking as he was doing it right on the screen. He, I'm sure he read it. I'm sure he saw the Hillary Clinton. But he conveniently skipped over that. Said, oh, he doesn't talk about uh, white people. But again, that's not my mission. Why? Because the Tariq Nashis, everybody and their mother. They talk about white people, white supremacy, white people are the enemy. Blah, blah, blah. So if you all acknowledge that and you have other people to talk about those things. OK, well, what am I going to add to it to keep saying, yeah, the white man is the devil and all this kind of stuff. Well, what's the point in adding to it? That's not my goal. My goal is not to keep on being redundant, talking about the same stuff. My goal is to move forward and to move forward in a speedy fashion. Not to keep. Drowning things out for years until I'm old and gray. And then you ask uh, people, what did I say? What did I do? And the only thing you can think of is he was a good talker. Nah, I, I don't I don't even care what people's views and opinions of me are. So that's the thing. I have extremely thick skin and a whole lot of patience. That's why you don't see me come up here like other people demanding donations. As we saw with that Reggie, he makes his bullshit presentation. He says, I got four donations, only four donations. Come on, people. I'm doing this research. You know, you have to support me so I can bring the research. All he did was read a book like somebody said. Live on air. Oh, man, that, that's, that's research. And you could tell he didn't know what he was talking about. Let's see, Alquan. I don't speak unless I know what the fuck I'm talking about. 
that's well, again that's why you don't hear me dealing with certain topics because not because I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not interested. They're a waste of time topic. I like the move forward topic. And uh, others they want to waste your time. They want to keep talking. Black people like entertainment. That's how you can tell who's real and who's not. That's why I'm about the weeding out process. And that's why when people ask me to detail my solutions, I'm not going to detail anything because I know that, number one, it's not just interested black people listening to the solutions. It's interested other people listening to the solutions. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is how you can tell who's real and who's not. People who are fake do whatever it takes to get YouTube hits, but these guys still haven't figured it out. So that's why they're scrambling. So they figure, okay, let me attack Alquan. But I dare one of these Negroes. You notice, you see, they always try to come in and say, anytime, uh, yeah, we're going live, join us. Like I'm home. Like I got the alert, come on. I keep telling them, set up a day and time. I'll be there. And, and let some of my audience be there. But of course, they're not ready for that. Negroes, you know, they just come in anytime and thinking, okay, uh, yeah, well, I'm awake now. Uh, let's start a live uh, situation and you be there. Oh, you didn't make it? Oh, man, you bullshitting. Come on. Black people are not on time. So that's how you could tell when people are ready. When they're punctual, so I like to be on time all the time because time is critical. You know, I can't stand being late and I can't stand people not starting on time. I can't stand that. And th then this guy had the nerve to talk about, well, you left the video early. Shit, I wasn't speaking for about a half hour and they were going back and forth with whatever they were talking about. And they didn't say to me, after we do this, we're going to uh, do another one and talk about the actual topic at hand is Pan-African stuff. So, come on. It's a good thing I left anyways because I had something to do. It was worthwhile. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I could have said it all in 15 minutes. Negroes have short attention spans, as you know. And uh, they don't like to expand their minds. They don't like to think too hard. See, these are the Negroes I'm trying to stay away from. These, these are the ones that get weeded out. This is why I only want people who are down with the situation to be down. Because I know those are the kind of people who are really interested in moving forward. Everybody else is just interested in pulling you down. Because they don't plan on doing nothing. They're too scared to do something. So... Yeah, I could have said this in 15 minutes, but I said it in 18, probably going on 19 minutes. Whether it's uh, 18 minutes, 19 minutes, or 20 hours, it's still been said. Now, what do you people say? You spend three hours doing the same thing. Talking about nothing. You talk about your solution, but yet... You're not even trying to implement your solution. You're waiting on other people. And then you get mad when other people don't make the move. Now, as we know, in the schoolyard, that's what the bully does. The one that can't fight. You know, they'll try to get somebody else to hit somebody else and say, oh, man, you're going to let them do that to you? They want to see other people fight and get hurt. But they don't want to go and fight because they don't want to get hurt. Those are the people to leave alone. And right now, what are we talking? 19 minutes. So, I said all this in 19 minutes. Maybe your mind is strong enough to listen to 19 minutes. 